Got here last night. I got got down here, right down the street, parked in the Domino's Pizza parking lot. I got here about six o'clock last night. This shit hit. And guess what? I gotta back out to get out. I gotta back up straight down that road. Hey, this New York shit ain't for everybody, man. I understand some of y'all might be a little skeptical about coming up here, but hey, it is what it is, man. Flatbed game. That's how I do. I don't know about y'all. Last one right here. Last one, we home free. I'm about to go ahead and get back in the truck. Get ready to back out this damn road. Last one. on up out of here, baby. Headed to Brook, not Brooklyn. We leaving Brooklyn. Headed to Baltimore. Actually, Dundalk, Dundalk, Maryland. It's right outside Baltimore, like the outskirts. 196 mile deadhead, man. This. It's crazy.
three miles. Keep to the left on I-295 North Line 95 South. Watch the bridge. I got two miles before I cross it. That two miles might take 30 minutes. I'll tell you what. I don't think I'm going to take another Brooklyn load. Nah. It's a waste of time, man. It takes, it takes too long to get up in there. It takes too long to get out. It took me two hours to go 20 miles last night. Not too bad coming out just now. It wasn't as bad as it was getting in, but it's still bad. You see where I'm at now. If they would have unloaded me at a decent time, appointment time was at 7. You couldn't be late. You had to be there by 7. They didn't unload the first truck till about, about 10 o'clock when they unloaded the first truck. Cause they had to figure out how to get stuff off the truck. They didn't have a, something they had to do. So they got him unloaded. They unloaded him where we were at. But they had to take me around the corner and unload me in the street, in a busy street, as y'all can see. And now I'm, I'm almost out of New York. Almost out. I look for anybody looking for a rental truck. There you go right there in front of me. Budget. 1 800 go budget. We have used cars and trucks for sale. Hey, y'all need, hey, budget, y'all need to throw me some, uh, throw me some ad revenue for that little snippet. Those of y'all who never crossed over the George Washington Bridge, it's best to stay in the left lane. Because the trucks got to use the left two lanes, and the right lane is just for cars only when it splits off between the upper level and the lower level. So it's best to stay in this left lane. Cause you got too much um too much merging traffic over there on the other side. Then when you get on the bridge, this left lane turns into, you still be in the left lane, but you'll be close to the middle lane. So once you get across it, you can uh, keep left and go on the uh, 95 Express. You don't want to take the 95 local. 
but they 95 Express only runs about three miles maybe. And then they meet right back up, 95 local and 95 Express. Once you get down there, once they merge back up, you got about maybe four miles before you hit a toll booth. Then you can keep left once again to go through the express toll, or you keep right to go through where you got to get your ticket at. Sometimes I go through the ticket one so I can like, like pull over, put some directions in or something like that. But uh. I already got my I already got my directions locked in already. I pulled over in Queens and put them in. When I got on uh 287. So I'm gonna keep rolling. When I, once I cross this bridge, I'm gonna keep rolling. I keep rolling about 40 miles to the Thomas Edison service area. I'm gonna go in there, get me some Chick-fil-A for lunch. Once I leave out of there, I have about 50 miles before I get to, uh, before I hit Delaware. Maybe about 50, 60 miles before I hit Delaware. Then, I'll, then the rest of that, you're only going to be in Delaware about 20 minutes maybe before you cross over the Maryland border. And once you cross over that uh, Maryland border, you got about 60 miles before you get to Baltimore. Something like that, give or take. Yeah, I know this. I know this route pretty pretty well. Right now, I'm in the Bronx. For those of y'all that don't know, I had somebody from England that watched one of my videos a while back, and he was like, you know, mundane driving for mundane. That's what that was his word, mundane. So that's pretty much like normal, average, typical. If you want to use a thesaurus. Or thesaurus, how you say it? Just another adjective. Yeah, it seems like yeah, normal driving for us may be spectacular for for somebody else. Like even for some of y'all that might be watching this video, like it might be normal for me, but you know, for y'all non truck truck drivers, it's, it's fabulous. And even. Even for those of you that are truck drivers, hey, a lot of truck drivers don't want to come to New York. Hey, I see why. I see why. I ain't, it definitely ain't nothing to play with up here. I didn't even realize it was almost two o'clock right now. So I ain't gonna be in Maryland till about about four, maybe like no, nah, probably later than that. Probably about five o'clock. It's two o'clock. Yeah, about five o'clock. I'll be in Maryland. I'm picking up a preload. I'll probably take my thirty-minute break once I get there, and then I head head back on uh, ninety-five and see how far I can go. My load delivers tomorrow at one o'clock at the load distribution center. So y'all know how they are. They don't want you early. They don't want you late. I've been to a Lowe's distribution center like a whole day early one time. They turned me around, I had to come back the next day. And I also went one time, I had a two o'clock appointment. I got there like nine o'clock that morning. I actually got there the night before. And I, uh, I waited, I spent the night down the street uh oh, traffic pick you see, hey, you see why I'm in the left lane? It's the left lane be moving. I'm about to go through the I think this tunnel coming up may be the last tunnel. No, I'm not sure. No, I'm not. There might be one more after this one. Go through this little tunnel, then you got one more. Watch, my GPS might try to reroute me when I go under this tunnel. It might, it normally does. Especially if you sit up under there for a little while. It'd be like something through trucks prohibited or something like that. Let's see, we're about to find out. Cannot find truck route. Uh oh. No, we're making it through. You didn't reroute. Yeah, it'll just reroute you while you're under the tunnel. When you come back out, it'll line right back up. Woo! Yeah, we got 
got another tunnel coming up. Exit 2A. Man, you see all those trucks sitting over there? I never parked over there. They probably got those, they probably been there since last night. Hazmat. Must use upper level, keep left. Twelve six clearance. Hey, I went under a bridge earlier that was twelve five. Where I got unloaded at. Uh oh, GPS rerouting now. Let's see if it'll talk. It didn't talk, it just rerouted. Hey, any other time y'all hear that GPS talking like crazy. Middle lane moving now, the left lane messed up. Yeah, y'all like this, don't you? Y'all like this New York City stuff. Hey, another thing about New York. Morning. Vertical there you go. clearance violation. There you go. I told Warning. you. Vertical clearance violation. Warning. <laughs> Vertical clearance violation. Warning. Vertical clearance violation. It's only, she only talking because I'm under this bridge. As soon as you come out, it'll, it'll go back to normal. I told you. I know my truck. I know my truck. I know my GPS. Woo. Now I'm stuck. We almost out, bro. Man, Western Express. Man, did it, did it hit? Did it hit the other truck in the back? Hit. In 500 feet, keep to the left on by 95 South US 1 South. See how it opened up as soon as I passed them two trucks? Look like they might have had an accident right there. Western Express, some owner out. Last, uh, last little tunnel right here. It's the last one. I don't know when they're gonna fix this road. They always do construction, but you never see anybody working. Let's get it, baby. We almost there. Almost there. Hey, shout out my dog Chris Lockhart, man. My dog Chris. 806. He got one of them long noses. Shout out my dog, Flatbed K. In 1.5 miles, keep to the left on by 95 by 80. New school. Got a new, new school YouTube truckers. I can't, I can't even keep up with Chris, man. He posts. Post some videos back to back like that. I can't even keep up with them. Y'all might, y'all might get lucky. Get, I might drop three one week, then I might go two weeks without dropping nothing. You gotta watch my old stuff. Clean my mirrors, or not my mirrors, my windshield real quick. A little dusty. Now you don't see too many of them right now. It'd be a lot of homeless people. They be down here too in these uh down here in the road. Sometimes you see them, they'll pop out with a sign, want a bottle of water or something. You gotta be careful. GPS rerouting. Turn left. Turn left. Where the hell I'ma turn left at? ahead. Y'all tell me why I'm turning left. Ahead. In 900 feet, take the entrance to the left on I-95 South. Almost there, baby. Almost there. I'm going to let this guy over. Go ahead and get over, buddy. We're going to ride this left lane. Hey, man, I wish I would see the top of his uh, top of his tractor. He's, he's right there at the roof. Uh-oh. 
almost there, almost there. You gotta be careful with these cars. You never know, they might try to hop in. 200 feet, turn right on, west 180th Street and then turn right in 280 feet. You hear my GPS talking right about ahead. You hear the GPS right talking about ahead. turn right. We're on the turn right here. In one mile, keep to the left on I-95, I-80. Yeah, when you go inside the tunnels, Ah, ah, ooh, pothole. Man. Go inside them tunnels, man, and they lose signal. Hey, you see all this space in front of me? That's why I told y'all use the left lane. Look at that right lane. They all cramped up. I like to have some cushion. Hey, more cushion for the pushing. More cushion I got. The harder I can push up him, push up on him. Uh oh, you heard that beeping? That was my uh, that little system on the front of the truck. It tells you uh, when somebody get too close. Uh oh, uh oh, let's get it. Uh oh, give us some gas, baby. We out of here. Enter in New Jersey. Let's get it, D. Left lane gang. I ain't going that fast, though. <laughs> it seems like I'm going fast. I'm only going 50 right now. In a half mile, keep to the left on I-95, I-80, and then keep to the left in 0.6 miles. Crossing border, entering New Jersey. Entering New Jersey. It seems like I'm going fast. I'm only going 45. And we ain't pushing me on this bridge. This nice it's 0.2 miles, keep to the left on I-95, I-80, and then keep to the left in 0.6 miles. Heard my GPS say keep to the left. We're about to get on 95 Express. We ain't going to take the local route. We got too many cars merging. We're going to take the Express. You're about to see the sign when I get up here. Then we're going to really... Then we're going to really, really be the left lane game. Here we go. I want y'all to look at this sign. It says 95 Express, and it says 95 Local. Express is on the left side. That's where we're going. This, it, it only lasts like three miles, though. All right, that's three miles I need. Get some damn, get some movement. Get on down here. Get up by these curves. Here we go. Little little box truck up there riding his brakes. In the half mile, keep to the left on I-95 I-80RT4 and then keep to the left in 630 feet. Keep to the left. In 0.2 miles, keep to the left on I-95 I-80RT4 and then keep to the left in 630 feet. See all them cars merging from the right? That's what I tell y'all, man. Hey, I don't tell you no wrong. Keep, keep to the left. Left lane game. I said it was three miles. That's actually, right now I got 2.1 before they merge back together. Looking ahead, I see uh, still got a lot of cushion in front of me. I'll go ahead and get in this right lane now. Because the next, next exit is going to merge me back with the uh, with the local route over there beside me. You see the guardrail, and you see the local route. You can take that local route. Sometimes you can, but sometimes it'll be banged up. In 600 feet, keep to the left on I-95 South I-80. Speed warning. Speed warning. Now, now I got a speed warning after I get out of the left lane. We ain't going that fast. GPS trip. Hey, PNS. 
That's the second PNS I've seen coming in New York. I've seen another guy had shingles. I don't know what he had. It was tarp done. And if y'all are wondering what this next highway is I'm about to get on after I emerge, that's the New Jersey Turnpike. New Jersey Turnpike is an easy road. You know what? They should have a turnpike in every state. Because it separates the cars from the trucks. They should have one of those in every state. And New Jersey, that's the only one I know that has it. I, I don't know. This is all I know is East Coast. So I don't know how y'all doing those other states. In 2.5 miles, keep to the right on I-95 South US 46. I gotta slow Speed down. Warning. Speed, Speed warning. Speed warning. Speed warning. I hear you, baby. In a half mile. Keep to the right on I-95 South US 46. I gotta slow down behind this uh, mile. Keep to the right on I-95 South US 46. I gotta slow down behind this truck anyway. Cause he creeping. And guess what, gang? This lane right here is merging with the I-95 local. And it pushes you right back. Look at this truck coming up beside me, squeezing. You gotta be careful. You gotta keep your eyes moving. This, this puts you right back in the left lane. Right, right now, left lane. I'm going to go ahead and get to the right. Go ahead and get to the right right now. Let's see if we can get around this container truck after I go around this curve. We got a black car coming up beside me on the right side. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Last exit before tow. Hey, guess what? We gotta go through the tow. We're gonna take that uh. Two miles. Keep to the left on I-95. We're gonna, we're gonna take that express tow. We don't gotta stop. We just gonna shoot right through it. I don't know what's up with this container truck. I don't know if you wanna switch lanes or not. You ain't got no signal light on. We're gonna leave you where you at, buddy. Where you at? Woo! Out of there, baby. Out of New York. Out of there. I definitely feel accomplished. Woo! Hey, don't go to New York if you're scared, man. And I advise y'all. I left. I left my house yesterday. I stayed home the night before I left the house at 5 o'clock in the morning because I wanted to be in New York before the sun went down. But it didn't happen like that. If, if you're going to go to New York this is your first time going, my best advice to you is to try to, try to get there before rush hour. And try to get in there before the sun goes down so you can see a little better. But you're going to have to make some tight turns. Some tight left turns, tight right turns. You gotta keep looking at your mirrors. Miles keep to the left on I 95. Yeah, man. Be careful when you come up here. Get there while the sun's still up. That's why I'd be glad when the time change. I'm tired of, I'm tired of it getting dark at 5 o'clock. Can't see nothing. Especially when you need to see. But you you are alright riding on the interstate, but getting up in a tight city like New York. Yeah, you need to be able to see what's going on. know what I was going to take this video and roll it into the next one when I go pick these shingles up but I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off because I know it's already getting long it's getting this will be about 20 25 30 minutes we're gonna leave it at that. Five miles. Keep to the right on I 95 so this will be it right, right here ahead. Speed warning. Turn ahead. So, hey I think I only said it one time on this video. Flatbed gang, man. Flatbed 
black man gay. Hey, it ain't just a word, man. It's a way of life. Y'all hear that thing saying speed warning? I ain't going that fast. Just my truck GPS. It's saying the speed limit is 45, but the speed limit is actually 55. They got it, they got it on this turnpike where they you hear it say speed warning. You see this guy up here. I ain't even caught him. He in the right lane. I'm about to get out of this lane. Yeah, they changed the speed limit up on the turnpike. They got those digital, they got those digital speed numbers where they can change it. Like sometimes it might be 55, sometimes it might be 50. Sometimes it might be 65. Right on, right 95. See that truck in front of me? I ain't even caught him. It's press. Two left lanes. In a quarter mile, keep to the right on, right 95. My G hey, my GPS saying keep to the right on. Hey, when I first started using that GPS, I did keep to the right. If you go to the right, you go over there and get a ticket. Keep to the left, you just go through the uh, express lane where you don't got to get a ticket. Ram it now, the TND 80. If anybody, somebody, somebody gonna ask, what kind of GPS you got? Ram it now, TND 80. It's pretty good GPS, but uh. They got another. They got another Ram and now that when I when I bought this one, it was like five hundred bucks. But now I think it might have dropped to four hundred. But they got another uh, tablet that's better than the one I got. That's probably like five hundred now. So uh, I advise you to get that one. Woo! Out of New York. Continue on this road for eight miles. Speed warning. Flatbed game, man. I'm out of here. Catch y'all later.